girls, Miss Sally here. I hope you're all doing well. I'm ready to read you another Skippy John Jones adventure, and this one is entitled Class Action. Skippy John Jones was just dying to go to school, and nobody, not even his mama, was going to stop him. But she did by the scruff of his neck. School is for the dogs, stated Mama Junebug Jones emphatically. They're unruly and drooly, she added dramatically. Just listen to that barking. Those hounds sound ferocious. Plus a bus full of dog breath would smell so atrocious. Good golly, Pop Lolly. It's such a no-brainer. If there is a good dog, it's because of its trainer. His mama gently nudged her nugget into his room. Then she added, you're Skippy John Jones, a smart Siamese cat. Take a look in the mirror if you don't believe that. He looks in the mirror every day, said his sisters, Jezebel, Jilly Boo, and Juju B. But all he sees are chihuahuas, arf, arf, barked Juju B. After his family left him to think, the chihuahua did exactly what his mama suggested. But not before he bounced around his room with some books. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I don't get the fuss. It's not like a pigeon is driving the bus. Then he climbed up his sister's kitty condo ladder for a peekaboo in the mirror. Holy Julio, squealed the kitty boy. How many chihuahuas am I? He wondered out loud. Then he took a deep breath and using his very best Spanish accent, he answered, as many as your head can handle, hombre. And quicker than you can say, the cat in the hat never did that. The kitty boy tossed his mask and his cape and a bright yellow banana into his mochila. Then, as he buttoned up his red plaid shirt, he began to sing in a way, way soft voice, Oh, my name is Scapito Frisquito, and I'm off to the school for burritos, because I've had a good hunch that I'm going to have lunch with a grande old bunch of puchitos. Just across the hall, Mama Junebug Jones and the girls were doing a little homework of their own. Listen here, messy missus, said Mama. How are you supposed to clean your kitty condo without your ladder? Skippy John has it, said the sisters. What for, asked Mama. So he can see the chihuahua in the mirror. The chihuahua, however, was already in his closet boarding a bus for school. But the kitty boy wasn't the only ch chihuahua on board. His old amigos, Los Chimichangas, were going to school too. Thank dog you made it, dude, exclaimed Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. See, Scapito, panted Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. We need your help con El Bolito. Without a doubt, Ito, declared El Scapito. But why do you need my help with a bully? Because he is a paramasquino, declared Don Diego, who ran us around the Escuelo in a taz tazolita. He spins around the school in a tiny teacup, explained the kitty boy in shock. See, dude, added Don Diego. He growls and howls and wears the suerta de lana tambien. Not the wool sweater, said Scapito. Uh-huh, agreed Paquito Tito, trembling. He is a woolly bully. There wasn't a dog worth his biscuits who didn't fear the woolly bully. So it wasn't a surprise when a potent puff of panic poofed out the gatito's tail. And all that puffiness inspired the Pachitos to sing, O oh, puffy, puffu, papito. We know you can do it, Scapito. Let's unravel his sweater and knit something better. We'll show that old woolly bolito. But there was no turning back now. The doggies had arrived at school. A moment later, the principal, a poodle with very high standards, appeared with a bucket of balls and a whistle. First she blew, and then she threw. Go fetch, barked Mrs. Begalot. Then every dog, big and small, chased a ball down the hall and into their classrooms. Except for Scapito. He got carried along by the river of rovers and landed in our class where he drew his best ever double doggy doodle. I've never seen a pup do that before, said Mrs. Handler, the art teacher. Then he trotted over to the music room and bayed like a beagle for the canine chorus. Bow wow, woof, Mr. Muzzletuff. What a pair of ears. After music came math, where Skippy stunned Mrs. McDrooler with his counting skills. 
two, three, five, seven, eleven. At the bell, the amigos followed their noses into the library. Not even a bowl full of frijoles smelled as delicious as the scent of books waiting to be read. I like libros, declared El Scapito Frisquito, the great reader Ito. I like books too, whispered Leonora Lapsitter, the librarian from behind the bookcase. The kitty boy was the last to leave the library, so we had to race right over to the French class with Monsieur Fousse. Can you say cheese, asked the teacher. Oui, oui, said the poodles. Fromage. Si, si, said Scapito. Queso. Queso, cabeza, shouted Chimichangas from the rear of the room. I'm not a cheesehead, Chimichangas, chuckled the catito. I'm a chihuahua. The poodles were tickled pink to have Las Puchitos in class with them, and Las Puchitos wanted to share what they had learned with their amigo. So the poopy sang, Come si, come sa, come sito. We have something to tell you, Scapito. When the poodles say we, they really mean si. So don't look for a red hydronito. After French class, Las Muchachas took a pass on obedience class, deciding instead to nap inside the warm case with the golden trofeos. I'm not good at following rules, confessed the kitty boy. What dog is, dude? quipped Don Diego. But just then, the gatito heard a gut-gurgling growl that shook the entire escuela, perhaps the whole planeta. Holy heartburn, hollered Scapito. Was that my tummy? No, that is the bellow of the woolly bolito, said Poquito Tito with a shiverito. The gruesome grumble grew louder, and along with it came the rattle and plink of the terrible Tazalita. It was spinning wildly right under his nose, circling like a polka-dotted shark. Andale, declared Don Diego. Get out your dudes, duds, dude. But Scapito was too frozen with fear to unpack his mochila, so his amigos did it for him, helping to change their chico into El Scapito Frisquito, complete with mask, cape, and banana. Why the plantanum, dude? asked Pinto Bito. It's my snack Ito, replied the gatito. Will you share it with me and Tito? Yes, indeed, oh, agreed Scapito. Then woof, chuckalucka, woof, chuckalucka. Every doggy leaped out of the case and latched onto the turbocharged Tazza. This caused the cup to spin wildly out of control, some of the chicos just hanging on by a tail. Estoy marado, cried Scapito. You are not dizzy, dude, you're green, yipped the doggies. The whirling dervish of a dog-filled teacup cut a mean path of destruction past the principal's office and spun straight on into the lunch bunch like a bowling ball. Strike it, oh, shouted the Puchitos. And strike it did. Smash, crackle, and pop. The twirling Tazalita crashed right into a table and broke apart, exposing the ferocious Fuzzy for what he really was. A teeny tiny, itsy bitsy, wool wearing teacup chihuahua. Dudes, declared Scapito, you're no bug bigger than a bugito. But the bugito's only reply was a gut gurgling growl greater than the hounds had ever heard before. Is that your tummy? asked Scapito. See, si, replied the bolito, tengo mucho hambre. Well, I'm hungry too, agreed the gatito, but you can have my plantano. This act of kindness made the chimichangas pull up, pull out their jump rope right in the middle of the mess. Peanut butter and jelly buttons, chunky cherry pits, the woolly bully's taza has broken into bits. Wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle, jelly on the toast. He's not a woolly bully. He's just hungrier than most. Just then, Mrs. Begalot stumped into the, stomped into the lunchroom. I smell a cat, he bellowed. That cat better scat. Then out came the whistle. First she blew, and then she threw a bright yellow ball down the hall, which every dog, big and small, began to chase, except for Scapito. He wasn't chasing the ball. He was running for his life. First, Skippy tripped. Then he slipped on the banana peel and slid straight out of his closet and back into the arms of his mama, Junebug Jones. What in the woolly white willies have you been up to, Mr. Whistle Whiskers? asked Mama. He broke my teacup, whined Jilly Boo, and he ate my banana, complained Jezebel. 
That's because he went to school with the Chihuahuas, explained Jujube. Later that night, after every fuzzy fell asleep, the kitty boy was good for one last bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I couldn't say it better. A dog is not a bully just because he wears a sweater. Then he bounced over to his mama and gave her a beso, a kiss she felt straight through the layers of her quilt. Good night, little dipper, said the very sleepy mama. Good night, mama, said the very sleepy kitten. The end. Okay, girls, see you next time. Have a good week. Bye-bye.